Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 of SCM and uh, what are the main topics are there are totally 3 topics warehouse, distribution, network design and models okay so this is a quite long topic if you have less time you can skip this one you will go to the other topics other module you can watch otherwise if you have time you can watch this one as well you will get much information regarding what to write so uh, what are the type of uh, questions that could be asked in the exam and what are the key points you need to keep in mind so those things we'll be discussing in this video and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make uh, more videos like this okay so let's get started with the first topic which is uh, warehouse what are the objectives and functions of stores okay so uh, the these things can be found in the description box there is a link and i'll be opening the notes so the notes can be found in the uh, file 18me653 okay so this regarding the module 3 right so let's go to the module 3 the first question is what are the objectives and functions of stores so what is the store that you need to know first and what are the objective and function means what do the, the store means store means it stores something right obviously it stores something what are the objectives and functions means objective means what should the uh, store have some key um, things will be defined right and the functions of store can be found here in other words the function of uh, store can be classified as the following so those are the functions of stores and the objectives okay then we have the next question which is uh, store system and procedures okay what what do you mean by store system and procedures there are three things management of receipts issue control and store documentation okay so management of receipts is this one and in there in there many key points are there you can go through it and get to know what it means otherwise you can google the things as well what, what is issue control the main thing you need to know and write it in your own words and the store documentation what is the documentation of the store what is coming in what is going out all those things should be documented right so those things are present here after that we have the stock validation and verification in that we have the two methods uh, uh, FIFO and LIFO okay so methods of valuation FIFO you need to know and uh, the LIFO also you need to know okay so what are those numerical things I'm not sure regarding these things so these things yeah, it's upon you how you will be uh, studying this one so I don't know uh, uh, regarding these um, technical terms uh, what I can say is from the up only what, uh, what are the terms are other than uh, that i i don't know i can uh, i'm not sure regarding those uh, concepts right because it's not my elective i cannot do anything fine <clears throat> so whatever i can do i am doing and uh, the next one has some factors regarding those things like the fifa and lifo means if they ask the question in the exam the mostly they might ask regarding the fifa and lifo only and the subtopics uh, explicitly they won't ask but if they ask the fifa and lifo you have to mention these points in brief as well okay standard cost method replacement price then we have the stock verification here also some concepts are there, that's all there is no subtopic moving on to the third one which is waste management there are three things reasons for obsolescence control of obsolescence and control of scrap the question that could be asked is the uh, obsol obsolete sorry obsolete and the reasons of uh, obsolescence and the controls of obsolescence okay so those things uh, here some technical terms are there they might ask in the sub part as well i'm not sure regarding that so uh, make sure you go through these terms get to know what are these things for example what is surplus surplus means how much uh, you have invested how much you got the subtraction of th those both is what uh, the surplus amount right so that's the uh, key concepts you need to keep in mind before going to the exam like that for each of these concepts you need, uh, you need to know okay what is the role of obsolescence and the control of obsolescence make sure you don't miss this one what is the control of scrap the key points regarding these things are mentioned here Moving to the second topic which is the distribution network design. Here we have few topics like the role, factors, invention, uh, inventories, transportation, facilities and handling and design options. Okay. So that can be that will be starting from 10 and uh, moving till page number 25. So we'll be going through briefly what are the things you need to keep in mind. First is what? Role of distribution in supply chain. How is distribution uh, relevant to the supply chain? That will be uh, that is the first point. If they ask you what the factors you have to go through these points and write down the factors. The third thing that could be asked is the inventories. So coming to the in inventories, yeah, inventories is here. If they ask about the inventories, you've got to make this diagram or the graph. And number of facilities as they increase, inventory cost also increase. So that you have to make. Transportation, about the transportation, how it affects the economy uh, and the uh, uh, number of facilities and the transportation cost. I think this type of graphs are important. So you, uh, you must go through it. Facilities and handling. So the facilities and handling. So make sure you practice all these graphs and get to know how the trend happens. Okay, because if you make the graph, the 50% of the marks you might get. Okay, because the graph plays a very important role. Last is the design options for the distribution. Here are some uh, few uh, key points are there that you have to keep in mind. Next, uh, manufacture storage with the direct shipping, distribut uh, distributors with uh, carrier delivery and customer pickup. Okay, two ways are there. So few few points, what do these uh, terms mean with the uh, characteristics and the parameters you need to know and this is the network uh, diagram present here you can go through it 
distributor storage with carrier delivery so what are the basic differences between them where are they applied basically that's all what you need to know fine then we have the distributor with uh, last mile delivery so it is not an uh, important one okay so basically that's all uh, what i uh, what i told that you have to focus upon then moving on directly to the uh, last topic which is the facility location and capacity allocation here you need to know what is facility location what is capacity allocation okay note down a few key points regarding that and what are the models used in that so if the information can be found here you can go through it so that's all what is there in the module uh, three make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel and show your support to me by uh, subscribing to the channel your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one